Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for mastering Salesforce, one module at a time. Today, we are exploring the module on Salesforce Trailhead that focuses on customizing record page components and fields. If you're getting ready for your Salesforce Administrator certification or aiming to improve your organization's data presentation, you've come to the right place. So, what can you expect from today's session? Let's break down our learning objectives. Learn how to create, customize, and manage Lightning pages. Explore the Lightning App Builder and assign a Lightning page to specific profiles. We'll explore these objectives by following the journey of Maria Jimenez, the admin at Ursa Major Solar, as she customizes Salesforce to highlight the most important information for her team. Ready to get started? Great, let's jump in. First things first, what exactly are record pages? When you log into Salesforce for the first time, what you see is just the beginning. You can customize and personalize many aspects of object record pages using a combination of the Lightning App Builder and page layouts. Most of the pages you see in Lightning Experience, such as the home page and record pages, are Lightning Pages. Lightning Pages are a collection of components arranged in regions on the page. With the Lightning App Builder, you can customize the structure of the page, the position of its components, and the record detail fields it displays. You can learn more in the Lightning App Builder module on Trailhead or watch our tutorial about Lightning App Builder. Other page contents, such as the buttons, links, actions, and related lists that appear on the page, are controlled with a different tool called the Page Layout Editor. In this unit, we will review how to customize your Lightning Record pages using both the Lightning App Builder and the Page Layout Editor. The Lightning App Builder lets you control which components appear on Lightning pages, create custom Lightning pages for different apps and users, control which fields appear on record pages, the Page Layout Editor lets you control which lists of related records and custom links users see, control which standard and custom buttons appear on records and related lists, control which quick actions appear on the page. You're probably thinking, buttons, lists, record details, what is all this stuff? Let's tour the record page by looking at an example contact record, and then we'll dive in and customize a page. These are the parts of a record page that you can customize to create a personalized view for different teams and processes in your org. In the previous unit, you learned about record highlights and how to customize the fields it shows using compact layouts. The record highlights area also contains a set of buttons and actions, which you'll learn how to customize in a later unit. The related tab contains related lists which are lists of other records associated with the record you're viewing. For example, an account can have related products, contacts, opportunities, and other custom records. The Details tab shows information about a record. By default, fields and links appear here. For example, a contact record detail page shows the name, address, owner, account, and other fields used to store information about the contact and related records. We've mentioned buttons, links, and actions. We'll go over those in more detail and how to modify them on Lightning Pages in later units. In this unit, we focus on customizing the page structure, components, record detail fields, and related lists. Now, let's get hands-on. Maria wants to create an energy audit record page just for her sales team so they can have the necessary field and related list information at their fingertips when they view the energy audit records. When the energy audit custom object was created, a system default energy audit record page was also created. Right now, everyone in the org who views an energy audit record sees the information from that default layout. Maria is going to create a customized record page just for the salespeople. Let's follow along. Begin by navigating to the Energy Consultations app. From the app launcher in the search bar, type and select Energy Consultations. Click on the Energy Audits tab and open a record. 
Switch to the All List view to see a comprehensive list of records. Select the Burlington Evaluation Record. Next, we will edit the page. From the Setup menu, select Edit Page. This action will take you to the Lightning App Builder, an interface specifically designed for customizing page layouts. Now, let's rename the page. In the Page Properties, change the label to Energy Audit Record Page for Sales. The API name should autofill if it doesn't copy and paste the API name from the trail brief. Lastly, let's customize the record details. Click the Details tab on the canvas, then click the Record Detail component where the fields are displayed. Currently, all fields are in one non-customizable block. With the click of one button, we can change that. In the Properties pane, click Upgrade Now to start the Dynamic Forms Migration Wizard. With Dynamic Forms, you can migrate the fields and sections from your existing record pages into individual components. This allows you to configure them just like the rest of the components on the page, adding more, removing some, or moving them around, giving your users only the fields and sections they need. To complete the migration, start by stepping through the wizard. Select the Energy Audit layout and click Finish. Next, let's enhance the layout in the right column for better clarity. First, click on the Audit Notes field and drag it up, placing it above the Owner field. Then, take the Type of Installation field and move it above Audit Notes. Make sure the Account field is positioned below Energy Audit name. Once you've organized everything, click Save, followed by Not Yet. Finally, remember to activate the page. Activating the page makes it available to your users. This page isn't quite ready for users yet. Maria wants to add a related list. Moving on to customizing related lists for your Energy Audit object. Since Energy Audit is a custom object, it currently doesn't have any related list set up. Let's add one using the Page Layout Editor. First, let's return to the Page Builder. Click the Back button in the App Builder header. From the Setup menu, select Setup. Now, click on Object Manager, then locate and select Energy Audit from the list of objects. We're going to edit the page layout. Click on Page Layout, and then select Energy Audit Layout. To add related lists, scroll down to the Related List section. In the palette, find Related Lists and drag the files element down into the Related List area. This will allow Ursa Major Solar Sales representatives to add files to a record and view a list of all files associated with it. Finally, click Quick Save, and then confirm by clicking Yes. And there you have it. Your Energy Audit object is now equipped with the related files list. Maria has completed her customizations, but her hard work isn't visible yet. It's time to activate the Lightning page so her sales users can finally access it. Let's navigate to the Lightning App Builder. From Setup, start by clicking the Home tab. In the Quick Find box, type App Builder and select Lightning App Builder. Now, let's edit the custom page. Find the Energy Audit record page for sales and click Edit. Click on the Activation button. You will see three options for activating the Energy Audit record page for sales. Org Default, App Default, App Record Type and Profile. Now, let's assign the page. Start by clicking on the App, Record Type, and Profile tab. Then, select Assign to Apps, Record Types, and Profiles to open the Assignment Wizard. Assign the page to the Energy Consultations app, choosing both the Desktop and Phone Form factors, the Master Record Type, and select both the Custom Sales Profile and the System Administrator Profile. Normally, Maria would only choose the Custom, sales profile, but selecting both allows you to see the full layout from an admin perspective. Next, review the page assignments. The new page column should display Energy Audit record page for sales. Once confirmed, click Save to activate the changes. Maria's customized record page is now live. Let's check it out. To access the customized page, start by clicking back in the App Builder header. Then, Find Energy Audits in the App Launcher and open an audit record. If needed, refresh the page to see the latest changes. 
Next, take a look at the Details tab. It's now streamlined to show only the fields that Maria prioritized, making it much more organized. Finally, check the Related tab. You'll find the files related list there, ready for document uploads, enhancing your access to important files in the audit process. Great job! Now that you're more familiar with Lightning page customization, you can start creating pages that give your users just what they need. By arranging components and fields in logical sections, you can make it even easier for your users to store and manage the data that's important to your business. It's time to put your newfound knowledge into practice with our hands-on challenge, which is worth 500 points. First, let's quickly review what this challenge involves. This hands-on challenge involves customizing a contact record page in Salesforce to improve user experience and efficiency. Now, launch your playground to follow along. First, navigate to the contact record you'd like to customize. From the app launcher, locate and select the contacts app. Open up any contact record to begin. Once you're there, look towards the top right corner and click on the edit page button. This opens the Lightning App Builder. Now, here's where we make the page more flexible. In the Lightning App Builder, you'll see the current layout of your contact record page. To unlock greater customization, let's upgrade this page using dynamic forms. In the Properties pane on the right, click Upgrade Now to start the migration wizard. Follow the wizard's prompts. When it asks for a source layout, choose Contact Layout and hit Finish. That's it. Your page is now powered by dynamic forms. With dynamic forms enabled, each field becomes an individual component you can arrange freely. Let's tidy things up by removing some fields we no longer need, like fax, other phone, and home phone. To remove a field, simply click on it and drag it off the canvas, or use the delete icon. Clean and simple. Great work so far. Now, let's enhance the page by updating the related lists. We're going to replace the outdated notes and attachments related list with the modern files related list. Here's how. In the Lightning App Builder, navigate to the related list section, click on notes and attachments, and remove it using the delete icon. Then, from the components palette, drag the files related list into the empty space. This change, provides a more seamless way for users to manage documents and files linked to a contact. Now that your customizations are complete, let's save and activate the new page. Click Save. Then, hit Activate to bring your custom page to life. In the Activation options, select Assign as Org Default to make this page the default view for all users on both desktop and mobile. Confirm by clicking Save. And voila, your new contact record page is live. Congratulations, you've customized a contact record page, streamlining the user experience and making it more productive for everyone. Let's quickly recap the key takeaways while you head back to Salesforce to verify your steps. We looked at creating custom record pages. This empowers users to tailor their Salesforce experience by customizing page layouts and components to display the most relevant information. Then, we use the Lightning App Builder, a powerful tool that allows you to control the structure and components of your Lightning pages, ensuring they meet the specific needs of different user groups. Pro tip, prioritize the most important fields and components to enhance user productivity and streamline their workflow. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the Declarative Academy and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Have questions or need further clarification? Drop a comment below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for joining us today. Keep customizing, keep trailblazing, and we'll see you in the next module. Until then, stay declarative.